lot if you don't need all the capability that a full-size pickup provides. A truck like the 2018 Chevrolet Colorado might be right up your alley. Mid-size trucks such as the Colorado are appealing thanks to virtues such as car-like maneuverability and fuel economy. The Colorado certainly has some of that appeal, along with plenty of available options and good all-around pickup truck competency. The Colorado has several tough competitors, though, namely the Toyota Tacoma and the Honda Ridgeline. The Tacoma has strong resale value and excellent off-road capabilities, while the Honda Ridgeline has excellent on-road performance and interior refinement. The Colorado offers long-distance comfort, a simple cabin layout and a range of desirable engines. Picking a winner in this segment will largely come down to what attributes you value most, but the 2018 Colorado is definitely worth a test drive. What's new? The 2018 Chevy Colorado gets a few small upgrades to the standard equipment list including Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration and a 7-inch infotainment screen replacing last year's smaller 4.2-inch version. If you're looking for a good balance between equipment level and pricing, the LT trim level. There are several options packages to choose from, so you can customize your truck with varying levels of features. We also recommend the optional 3.6-liter V6 or the 2.8-liter turbozel engine, both of which are available on the LT. Trim Levels and Features The 2018 Chevrolet Colorado is a mid-size pickup offered in extended cab and crew cab body styles. There are two bed lengths and five trim levels, base, work truck weight, LT, Z71 and ZR2. For an off-rails truck, the base and work truck models have limited features and low prices. The mid-range LT offers extras such as a larger touchscreen and a standard 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot, while the top-of-the-line Z71 combines some basic off-road prowess with top equipment. The ZR2 model features significant suspension and body changes that give it improved off-road capability. The entry-level model, known simply as base, covers the truck basics without a lot of extras, but it still has a decent amount of equipment. It's offered only as an extended cab, and standard features include a 2.5-liter inline four-cylinder engine 200 horsepower and 191 pound-feet of torque, a six-speed manual transmission, 16-inch steel wheels, air conditioning, vinyl upholstery and floor covering, a four-way power driver seat with manual recline front bucket seats, a tilt-only adjustable steering wheel, power windows, a rear-view camera, and a six-speaker sound system with Chevrolet's app-based MyLink system, Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, voice controls, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and a 7-inch display. There aren't too many changes when you step up to the work truck weight model, but it does come in both extend cab and crew cab body styles and adds fold-up rear jump seats extend cab models only, cloth upholstery, carpeting and floor mats. The biggest difference between the base Colorado and the work truck trim is the latter's list of available options. Essentially you can equip the work truck with a few tech items, optional engines and exterior trim that make it feel less basic. From the weight level on up. You can get a 6-speed automatic transmission for the base 4-cylinder or one of the Colorado's two optional engines, a 3.6-liter V6 308 horsepower and 275 lb-ft paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission or a 2.8-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder diesel engine 181 horsepower and 369 lb-ft paired to a 6-speed automatic. Notable options for the weight include remote keyless entry, cruise control, an easy lift tailgate, and on-star telematics roadside assistance, turn beaten navigation, automatic crash response and 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot connectivity. If you don't want to sort through all the WT's option sheets, you can simply spring for the LT, which gets you most of the above items, plus 17-inch alloy wheels a leather-wrapped tilt and telescoping steering wheel, an 8-inch touchscreen, satellite radio, in-car 4G LTE Wi-Fi, and two additional USB ports. More options are available for the LTE, with the most notable ones being heated front seats, 
automatic climate control, heated exterior mirrors, and forward collision and lane departure warning systems. For LT models and above, there's an available 7-speaker premium Bose audio system and a navigation system and enhancement of the standard 8-inch MyLink interface. For more luxury items and some mild off-road ability, you'll want to check out the Z71. It comes standard with most of the LT's optional equipment, plus it adds dark tinted 17-inch alloy wheels, altering tires instead of all Z's and tires, an off-road oriented suspension, a locking rear differential, hill descent control, unique cloth and simulated leather upholstery, and other model-specific trim pieces. Even with the off-road oriented suspension, the Z71 is still more oriented toward street use. For more ability off the beaten path, the ZR2 is your truck. The ZR2 has a raised suspension with special dampers, bigger altering tires, fender flares, special bodywork for improved approach and departure angles, a spray and bed liner optional on other trims and an electronically locking rear differential. Chevy offers the V6 or the diesel engine for the ZR2. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically comes in multiple versions that are fundamentally similar. The S and this review are based on our full test of the 2017 Chevrolet Colorado LT 3.6 liters V6, 8 speed automatic, 4 WD. 0. Driving. The V6 engine is lively, and the 8 speed automatic well behaved. Other than the praiseworthy powertrain, the Colorado also handles well for a truck even if the steering lacks feedback. Acceleration. The V6 makes the truck feel light in straightaways and never breathless at full tilt, even if its 6.7 seconds 0 to 60 time is barely faster than the Honda Ridgelines. There's a lack of grunt low in the rev range that's only revealed when the transmission hesitates to downshift. Braking. The pedal is firm and numb under moderately hard braking but it's otherwise easy to modulate in regular driving conditions. We recorded a stopping distance from 60 miles per hour of 124 feet, which is good for the class. Nose dive is noticeable under hard braking, not out of character for a truck. Steering. The steering offers good on-center feel for highway driving and precise control. Steering effort is appropriately weighted even if the assistance feels a bit artificial. Feedback is nearly non-existent. Handling. Body roll is tamed by the firm suspension, so the Colorado corners quite well for a truck. With an unloaded bed, the light rear end will easily break traction, but stability control always keeps that manageable. As car-like as the Colorado feels, it's ultimately still a truck. Drivability. The 8-speed transmission is well matched to this engine, and acceleration is intuitive with smooth throttle typing. There is no real issue of the transmission hunting for gears, and it holds speed easily on hills, although it is occasionally reluctant to downshift on flat roads. Off-road. The low air dam hanging from the front bumper is good for mileage but bad for clearance. The Colorado in all but ZR2 trim isn't a good choice for tackling rocks or deep ruts or dips, but it does have locking differentials and hill descent control. Comfort. The Colorado offers a better ride than most full-size pickups, but it is more stifled than some mid-size competition. Noise isolation, climate control and seat adjustability are rudimentary, but the Colorado is designed well enough that drivers with pickup truck expectations will be comfortable. Seat comfort. The front seats are nicely molded, if a little firm, and offer an upright but comfortable position. There's not a ton of adjustability so opinions are sometimes divided, but most drivers will be comfortable even on longer drives. The rear bench is harder, and the backrest is expectedly upright. Ride comfort. The ride is much less rough than most full-size trucks, likely thanks in part to the more limited hauling capacity, but it's definitely still firm. The more generous sidewalls on the tires help keep bigger bumps from feeling harsh. Noise and vibration. There's considerable road, wind and tire noise, especially at freeway speeds. The transmission helps to avoid engine noise, and wind noise is the biggest factor at speed. We didn't find the noise levels ever rising to the point where they impede conversation, though. Climate control. 
the climate controls are easy and intuitive to use, and the system is more than a match for most weather conditions. But it's only a single zone setup. The heated seats and steering wheel work well and are easy to operate. Interior. As befits a small truck, the driving position is upright and the controls are simple. Even as a crew cab, the Colorado favors the front seat, with a cramped and difficult to access rear seat, especially since side steps are optional extras. Large door pillars create some problematic sight lines. Ease of use. Everything is easy to reach, and there's plenty of well-labeled and generously sized switch gear, including oversized toggles in the center console that are easy to operate even when wearing heavy gloves. Getting and jetting out. This is a relatively high vehicle, and steps are optional extras. The big front door opening helps, and step up isn't too high for adults of average height. The rear door is much narrower and has a slightly shorter opening, so getting in and out of the back seat is noticeably more difficult. Driving position. The driving position in the Colorado is upright and commanding yet remains comfortable. None of the controls are out of reach, and everything is accessible and visible. There's also generous adjustment range in the seat and steering column to suit all types of drivers. Roominess. The front seat offers lots of room all around. There's enough adjustability for most drivers, and taller drivers won't run out of headroom. The crew cab's rear seat is tight, legroom is limited, and there's insufficient headroom for taller passengers. Visibility. Forward visibility is quite good. But the very wide door pillars can cause problems, especially when pulling out of a driveway at an angle. The side mirrors are sized properly, making them useful during lane changes. Quality. The cabin is full of hard plastics and generally cheap filling surfaces. That said, it's solidly put together, and it feels more modern than the Tacoma or Frontier. Still, it can't match the Ridge Line. Utility. The Colorado offers high towing and hauling s, but it can't match the ridge line for usability. The bed is narrower, even if it boasts a higher total volume. The rear seats don't fold flat, and there are no clever compartments for larger items, reducing enclosed storage options. Small item storage. There are plenty of places to stash things in the cabin, including the cell phone tray next to the USB port. Door pockets are cleverly tiered to help organize small items, and the cup holders are generously sized. Rear passengers only get seat back pockets and cup holders if there's no middle passenger. Cargo space. Even though the Colorado is available with the longest in class cargo box, it isn't wide enough for a 4x8 sheet of plywood to lie flat. The bed also requires a bed liner and lacks the clever storage compartments or electrical outlets seen in competitors. The floor height is also higher than competitors. Child safety seat accommodation. The outboard rear seats both offer latch points, although the tether anchors are difficult to access. Larger rear facing seats will impinge on front seat travel. The rear seat height means getting seats and infants into the back requires lifting which may be troublesome for shorter drivers. Towing. The Colorado offers best-in-class performance thanks to a maximum tow of up to 7,700 pounds with a diesel and 7,000 pounds with a V6. A seven-way electrical connector, integrated trailer brake controller, exhaust brake, and a number of hitch styles are available as optional extras. Hauling. Our 4,529-pound test truck had a maximum payload of 1,548 pounds, which is good, but trails the ridge line slightly. The bed sides and tailgate lip are high, but numerous tie-e down locations aid functionality. The Tacoma and ridge line have power outlets, composite beds and more tie-e downs. Technology Chevrolet offers solid in-car technology thanks largely to its MyLink system which is easy to use and featuric. Unfortunately, the Colorado lags behind in terms of useful on-road active safety technology. Audio and navigation. The sound quality from the premium Bose system is acceptable but nothing special. It does reach higher volumes without causing distortion. Chevis MyLink navigation remains a good system. It's responsive with sharp graphics and a straightforward interface. Smartphone integration. 
Chevy does a good job offering charging options, with two USB ports up front and two optional ports in back, as well as one 10 volt outlets front and back. Bluetooth is easy to set up, and it works well. The MyLink system also features Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Driver aids. Our tester was optioned with forward collision alert and lane departure warning. Both work as advertised, though the forward collision system can be overly sensitive. But it doesn't return completely false positives the way some systems occasionally do. Voice control. It has one of the less frust mainstream systems, even though it requires relatively specific phrasing. Commands are displayed on the touch screen, which is helpful and the system does its best to help you along when things go wrong rather than furthering misunderstandings. Long-term road test. To learn more about the Chevrolet Colorado of this generation, read our updates from a full year of living with a 2015 Chevrolet Colorado. We cover everything from seat comfort to round-world fuel economy. Please note that the 2018 Chevrolet Colorado differs from our long-term Colorado in a few ways with the revised V6 engine and an 8-speed transmission being the most significant. Also added to the lineup since 2015 are the optional diesel engine and Apple CarPlay compatibility. Otherwise, it's the same generation, and most of our observations still apply. Read Long-Term Test.